Welcome to the video series, Living with Rheumatoid Arthritis, RA. In this video, we will be introducing the symptoms and diagnosis of the disease. Rheumatoid arthritis, i.e. RA, is a common chronic destructive disease that is characterized by the inflammation of the joints. Rheumatoid arthritis is common in joints such as your knees, fingers, and toes. Although the cause of rheumatoid arthritis is unclear, the disease is characterized by inflammation of the synovial lining of the joints. The synovial membrane is a matrix of connective tissue that lines the cavities of the joints and contains a synovial fluid. The main function of synovial fluid is to reduce friction in the joint. Therefore, the increased levels of microphages and inflammatory cells in these joints during arthritis is the cause of this inflammation and arthritic symptoms. Internationally, RA affects 0.4 to 1.3% of the population, with an estimated prevalence in Canada of 1%. Of this statistic, women are observed to be approximately three times as likely as men to develop the disease. Early onset of RA starts over a period of weeks to months. If you observe any of these symptoms for at least six weeks, you should see your doctor. If your family doctor suspects RA, they will refer you to a specialist. Although there is currently no one specific test that can reliably make the diagnosis, a combination of tests are completed to verify the disease. The first one being personal and past family medical history is examined. Number two, physical exam conducted by the doctor to observe the patient's concerned joints, as well as a pattern and extent of tenderness, swelling, warm and painful or limited movement. Number three, blood tests conducted to measure inflammation levels via antibodies associated with RA. Rheumatoid factor RF, an antibody found in 80% of RA patients, an anti-cyclic citrullinated peptide, anti-CCP, which occurs in 60 to 70% of RA patients. Testing positive for both antibodies indicates severe RA. Number four, Inflammation can also be indicated for RA via elevated levels of erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR, or SED rate, and C-reactive protein, CRP level, which are also biomarkers for inflammation. Number five, finally, x-rays, ultrasounds, and MRIs are also used to look for joint damage. To learn more about medication use to treat RA, please watch part two of this series, Living with Rheumatoid Arthritis. Thank you for watching.